Now, one of the basic skills in cookery you need to know is crumbing. And if you can master this technique, you can elevate those dishes you make all the time into something really special, like the great Australian chicken schnitzel. And what's a great schnitzel without a great coleslaw? So you'll need four large chicken breasts, skinless, and then we're just going to take each breast, lay it out, and then make one horizontal cut into it, just like that, to open it out and make a really large fillet. And then next, grab yourself a couple of pieces of cling film and lay your breast inside, and then pop another piece of plastic on top. And this just protects the chicken because we're going to beat it out slightly to get a nice thin fillet. So to crumb the schnitzel, you'll need some plain flour on a plate and then a couple of eggs in a bowl with a splash of milk whisked together. And then the secret to a crispy schnitzel is fresh breadcrumbs. So you'll need some stale bread whizzed in a food processor so you get a nice uneven crumb like this. And we're going to flavour that up with a tablespoon of oregano, a big pinch of salt and the zest of one lemon. And then you simply dip your chicken into the flour first and then to the egg mix, and then into the crumbs and press the crumbs on and then set them aside. Sometimes I find that coleslaw dressing can be a little bit heavy, so I like to lighten it up a bit. So I still start off with some mayonnaise, but then I also add some sour cream and sugar and vinegar to give it a lovely zing. Start off with two tablespoons of mayonnaise and two tablespoons of the sour cream along with a tablespoon of sugar, generous pinch of salt, and some black pepper, a good splash of white vinegar, and the juice of half a lemon. Then give it a quick stir and set it aside. So that's the dressing for the slaw done. Now for the body of our salad, the cabbage. You'll need half a white cabbage, finely sliced. Now you can cut the cabbage by hand, but I find this mandolin gives you lovely, fine, even slices. One large green apple, finely sliced and chopped up. Two carrots, finely sliced. And one white onion, we're just going to use half, finely diced. OK, now there's one more secret ingredient to my coleslaw that gives it great body, and it's some parmesan cheese. And I've got about a cup here that's been finely grated. Throw that in, along with the dressing. And this is when it gets a little messy. You have to get your hands in there and give the coleslaw a really good mix. And what you'll find is the mix really softens and takes on the dressing. So to cook your schnitzels, you'll need a large fry pan over high heat. And the secret to cooking them evenly and giving them a lovely golden crust is to pour around two centimetres of oil in the pan. Then fry your schnitzels for two to three minutes on each side until they're cooked. And then drain them on some kitchen paper. So as soon as your schnitzels are cooked, pop them straight up on a plate. I like to pile them high with the coleslaw a little bit of fresh mint and parsley, and throw on a lemon wedge. And there you have it, a seriously good chicken schnitzel. Deliciously moist on the inside and crispy and brown on the outside and a glorious coleslaw on top. This is perfect for any time of the year.